Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really good video for you today which is going to be split into three different parts starting off with the harmonic from yesterday's video and giving some education on how to trade the harmonic. I then want to be moving over to what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart and the current trading triangle that we're in right now and I want to end the video with the giveaway which was obviously mentioned in yesterday's video as we were going over the harmonic. So let's start with the harmonic pattern before we go over to what's happening now. So first, a little bit of help for those wondering. This is actually a Gartley harmonic pattern. So the way, the way we trade this has three steps. You can get bullish or bearish Gartley patterns. Okay, this is, this is a bullish Gartley, which we had a few days ago, where you basically look to long point B, short point C, and then long point D, because point D is at the low. What we had yesterday was a bearish Gartley. So you look to short point B, long point c and short point d okay so that's the difference a bullish gartley is where point d is at the low bearish gartley is where point d is at the high so obviously here you look for longs here you look for your shorts so each step of the way we obviously went through this as we were coming down to the lows which as you probably remember from yesterday's video we caught that low to the absolute dollar so that was a great start to the harmonic where me and many other people within the champions level were getting the longs filled at that low. Um, it was obviously a, a great trade and we know that we made our way up towards those highs. And toward, making its way up towards the highs. So let's just review here what we were looking at. So you can see that you had point C at $12,812 and point D coming in at around 3000 $3,000, $13,160. So as we know, we managed to get the low of point C to the dollar. And then we were looking up for point D at around this 13,160. And now I want to go over how this was traded uh, by myself, as well as some of the confluences that we had at these levels and why the, you know, the big standout feature here is the confluence at these levels. So as we move along, we obviously made our way up towards this high, but I was taking shorts prior to this. $13,100 for me was a really key level where I originally actually was looking for the D to be put in at the high of $13,100. So I have adjusted the D. Obviously, originally it was at $13,160. But when we reached $13,100, I originally took a short here. The reasonings for this was, well, you had a few different confluences at the point, at the time, and there was, you know, there was a game. We're trading probability, so there's the potential, there's the potential that you put in a high. So I was taking shorts prior to this, just so you are aware. Um, but I was took her at 13,100. Obviously, we got the drop down to around where I was looking anyway, which was 12,950. You slightly front run it. You then got bullish CVD divergences and you got your move to the upside once more. And then this is where I was taking another short uh, because of the confluences that you had here. So let me cover this for you. You had a one to one extension. So you're looking at your impulse. So if you, you like to do Elliott waves, if you're looking at this as an ABC correction, basically you have your A, your B, and then your C, which is going to a one-to-one -one extension. So that's recent to short number one at around this 13,160. We then had a really nice modified, um, modified pitchfork. Okay, and You can see each time you hit the middle of the pitchfork, rejection, rejection, rejection. And that's also why I was shorting $13,100. That's why I shorted again $13,160. You also had the middle of this channel. Okay, so that's another confluence reason. And uh, you also then had a original pitchfork. So you had two different pitchforks, a one-to-one -one extension, the um, modified pitchfork, the original pitchfork, and also <laughs> the harmonic itself, the original harmonic coming in at $13,160. So you can see you had a lot of reasons to short here, didn't you? OK, and uh, if we see here, that's where I put the original harmonic as updating in the group. That's where we put the, um, you know, that's where it's still going. And that's with it, all of the confluences lining up together, which is, um, you know, what we look for in trading, those high probability trades. Um, like I'm saying here, you know, it was all thought out and planned out at the start. There is no random pivots on the chart and traded several of the exact highs and lows to the dollar today. OK, so as again, I was trading 13,100, managed to short out to basically the dollar long, the dollar of originally of the low. The, the short was not so good. So I took a few losses. This is obviously how it looks now. I took a few losses prior to getting into my short, which was filled 
13,163. But I actually took two losses prior to getting this short position. And this was because well, I was aware that we were reaching resistance and I was aware of the confluence, but I was a bit too eager almost to get into the short. Um, I Obviously, I recognize that longs are the better trade overall, but at the same time, point you have to recognize when there's an opportunity for a short so i don't want to you know pretend i got 100 percent win rate yesterday i traded very well and it was a profitable day but i did take losses and my main, main majorly my major loss was um trying to short the first high 13,160, and obviously you got that secondary move to the upside and that's what that happened at around quarter past 11 at my time and uh basically what i decided to do was okay i've seen that next high being put in i now have a really easy invalidation which was where i put my stop loss which is really simply above the high because the invalidation of a harmonic pattern is if it comes back above point x so i had a total invalidation and we're talking about 30 dollars invalidation so it's it's you know it's a worthwhile trade here so i got refilled 13,160, and i went to sleep basically and uh <laughs> this is what you call dedication for the cause of trading waking up at 3 a.m this morning yeah 3 a.m trade um, as I had my, had I, as I had alerts going off, um, <laughs> basically I was coming in, <clears throat> giving a quick update on my position, and uh, I was saying that the support is twelve thousand eight hundred and seventy-five dollars, and thirteen thousand is now resistance. Okay, so I gave the support twelve thousand eight hundred seventy-five and the resistance, which was thirteen thousand, and uh, that was literally at four a.m. this morning. We can now go back to the chart and see how that traded. So at 4 a.m. this morning was at this high. Okay, at this high. As you can see, 13,000 did flip into resistance as expected. And we made our way down at 9 a.m. to bounce off the exact low, $12,860. Which I was saying that the low was $12,875. So $15 of the low managed to say that we had flipped 13K into resistance at 4 a.m. That was correct. And we made our way down towards the local CC support within $15, where we've obviously got a secondary bounce. Um, so I must say, <laughs> I must say I'm pretty proud of all of that trading yesterday. Obviously, I took a few losses. You know, I took a few losses. I got a bit aggressive on some of the trades, but by far an extremely profitable day. And I think you can agree... Um, with the precision, the pr total precision there of those trades, nailing the low to the dollar, shorting the high overall, no invalidation of the pattern for it to end how it ended. I think, yeah, I think that's pretty impressive. If, if you think that's impressive, you can give a like down below on this video. <laughs> that, that would be great uh, because I know yesterday when I was making that video, people could have joined in on me um, as I released the video about here and you knew where I was looking for the target. So hopefully people made some money on this one. Um, but moving on, obviously to what we have right now and this is a triangle pattern so if we come down to a lower term time frame remember how we trade the triangle okay so we have almost like a descending type triangle here remember for your targets what you're looking for is you take the length of the triangle and you expand it from the breakout so if we break to the upside we could say we're looking for targets at around 13,150 and if we break to the downside we could be looking for targets at around $12,700. So you have a target if you break down 12,700, you have a target if you break up of around 13,150. Alternatively, uh the way that I prefer to trade, I don't really like to trade breakouts on Bitcoin, period. It really I don't don't really like it. The way that I'll actually be looking to trade it is more of actually expecting a range coming on here. Okay? That's what I would like to trade. Obviously if we do get a breakout, we do get the open interest, we do get the volume, I'm not going to be fading it for no reason. You know, I will trade a breakout if it's you know, if it's a strong break. But overall, I prefer to look for fading of the highs and, and fading of the lows. Um, so that's kind of what you have going on now. That's about a one and a one and one point two percent local range that you have there. And again, that was this is that same one that I gave at four a.m. and we're now at 11 a, 11 a.m. So the range is still going. It's basically thirteen k resistance uh, to support twelve thousand eight hundred. Well, twelve thousand eight hundred and sixty. I, I was wrong by fifteen dollars, but that's the range that you have going on here locally. So I think that that's an absolutely acceptable trading range. Uh, and then if you obviously get the break to the upside, I've just given you the level to look towards. And if you break to the downside, I've given you a level to look towards. Um, so that is hopefully a nice video today, a bit of an educational video of the bearish Gartley pattern that we traded last night. And obviously um, moving on to how I'm actually trading this now, which I'm going for the range, looking for the fades. But, you know, 
<laughs> we will see if we get the breakout. I will not be against it if it is, sort of thing. And um, yeah, I want to end with a mention of the giveaway. <laughs> so uh, obviously yesterday I said, comment the name of this pattern and uh, you'll be in with a chance of winning $100. What I forgot to say was also comment your Bitcoin address because nobody was actually commenting their Bitcoin address. So it was uh, basically if I pick a winner, I don't know how to actually send send the Bitcoin. Um, so what I would say here is uh, just leave your Bitcoin address down below. So comment your Bitcoin address in the comments. And the way that I'll work it is I'll pick a winner from yesterday's video but you'll have to have left a comment in today's video with your Bitcoin address. So essentially you'll have to have left a comment on yesterday and, and today's video essentially. So, um, and we'll pick the winner in a live stream. And I suppose in today's video, leave a comment below with your Bitcoin address and also say, would you prefer a live stream on Saturday evening to pick the winner and do some technical analysis? Or would you prefer it on Monday evening to pick the winner and do some technical analysis? So basically just leave a comment today with your Bitcoin address so I can actually send the Bitcoin to you if you win. And also with a day you'd prefer the live stream. England time, would you prefer it Saturday evening or Monday evening? Okay, so that's fairly simple, I think. Leave a comment in today's video <laughs> with Monday or Monday or Saturday. And uh, whatever has the most votes, I'll sort of do the giveaway on that live stream. Um, yeah, so I think that's, that's, that's what I would say today then. Uh, I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. It's been a bit educational, a bit, bit different. Uh, I love to trade harmonics. We love to trade these triangles. And um, yeah, I love to trade Bitcoin overall. <laughs> and again, we're, we're trading long shorts. It's not just we're only looking for longs. We're only looking for shorts. You know, I'm trading the most, what I feel the most probable trades. And when you have confluences such as this, you know, absolutely, I could have got stopped out. It could have taken point X, but it didn't. And uh, it actually came down. I've, I've closed the majority of the short, by the way. I've, I've like, literally closed the majority of the short. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm now actually trading more towards that triangle. If we break 13K, well, I'll look for 3150. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's today's video. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one that I do. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day and goodbye.